In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your phone to scan your surroundings and create cinematic camera movements in post-production with Luma AI. We'll take it up a notch and use a regular DJI drone to scan and create FPV looking videos. Despite the average video quality, the technology is definitely promising and I will share with you a couple of tricks that can help you achieve the best quality possible. First things first, if you're an iPhone user, it's easier to use the dedicated Luma app since it provides you with real-time guidelines. But if you're an Android user, don't worry, you can still capture videos and upload them directly to Luma from your browser. But before you start shooting, there are a few camera settings you need to follow. I recommend that you shoot in 4K. Remember to disable HDR and disable video stabilization. You can use either a wide or normal focal length. Luma Labs also has a detailed list of guidelines and best practices that you can check out before recording. Now, when shooting, try to capture a single video in loops from three different heights. Start with the phone at chest level, looking straight ahead. Once you finish the first loop, keep recording and move the phone higher above your head, pointing down to the center of the scene. Finally, you can record the third loop from knee level, pointing upwards towards the subject. It's important that you remember to keep your subject in frame and centered. Before proceeding, I would like to thank my friends Umar and Tarving from Product Nation for their assistance during the process. They captured a lot of behind the scene footage and created a video on their channel. So if you want to see the challenges we had to overcome, be sure to watch their video. Once you've finished recording, head over to lumalabs.ai. After you create an account, you can upload the video to the website give the project a descriptive name and wait for it to process. After that, the 3D scene can be downloaded as an object or mesh scene so you can use it in other 3D software. Or you can click on edit to access a browser-based editor where you can manipulate camera movements. Click here to access the camera tools and if the background is not visible, click on the layers icon. Do not worry if the quality looks worse than expected, it will look completely different once exported as a video. Make sure that you switch to first person view and from the right side, you can access two different preset trajectories, orbit and oscillate. Feel free to use either one if you wanna keep the motion simple. If you wanna create your own, click on custom. And this is where you can start creating keyframes to animate the camera over time. Now open the motion tab, switch from freeform to orbit mode. This will make it easier to move the camera and focus on the subject. To make changes to camera settings, click on edit. To move the camera, use your mouse and keyboard just like any other compositing or 3D software. However, you also have the option to change settings from the left section over here. I want to start with the camera positioned all the way up here. Once you're satisfied with the camera settings, click on the check mark to apply changes to your keyframe. And to create motion, we need more keyframes. So let's add a new one. Remember to click on edit before making any changes. Now let's move a little bit to the right and get closer to the subject. We can also roll the camera a bit and confirm. And as you can see, there is now camera movement between keyframes. Let's add another keyframe and get even closer. As always, remember to click edit to make sure the changes are being applied. I wanna try to adjust the camera roll. Let's have a look. If you don't like the camera's position at a certain point, you can insert new keyframes and adjust them accordingly. For the next part, I want to get even closer to the subject. I like to play with the focal length between keyframes to make the movement more dynamic and interesting. Besides creating vertigo effects like this, you can play with the camera roll setting and switch between high and low camera angles while orbiting around the subject. There may be parts of the environment that were not captured during the recording process, so Luma provides the option to fill those areas with a solid background color. You can also change the video resolution before exporting and I know many of you will probably use Luma to upload vertical videos on social platforms. Unfortunately, you still cannot rotate videos in Luma, but you can render the video in landscape mode and then crop it, but this will make you sacrifice some quality. So here's a trick. You can edit each keyframe and add 90 degrees to the camera roll setting. This process can be time consuming, but it allows you to maximize the output quality. Once you are satisfied with your animation, click on render to export your video. A render queue will appear at the bottom of your screen. We're supposed to see previews from ongoing renders here, but it looks like there is a bug here. However, once the render finishes, you can open the video and click here to download it. If you chose to output a vertical video, you can simply import it into your editing software. I'm using Premiere Pro, so let's create a new sequence by dragging and dropping the video here. 
then go to sequence settings and swap the frame dimensions to 1080 by 1920 click ok and confirm this with the clip selected go to the effects control tab and change the rotation to 90 degrees another thing i recommend for this type of outputs is adding motion blur for that i use a powerful plugin called rsmb which i will link in the description box this plugin is designed to add an incredibly natural and realistic motion blur effect to your videos and it will make your renders look much better earlier in this video i mentioned scanning using my drone now i have managed to make this work by flying around the subject once obviously you will still get more information if you orbit from three different heights if you can control your drone and manually orbit around the subject it is best to record in 4k however as a beginner pilot i wanted to use the built-in orbit feature in my dji mini 3 pro and i noticed that this records up to 1080p only which is still fine but i worked around it by using topaz video ai to upscale my video to 4k before processing it through luma and yes this will have a positive impact on the quality of your render you can also combine your luma scans with ai video tools such as gen 1 from runway ml to create something truly unique and amazing if you want to learn more about gen 1 and other ai tools check out this video i made it's packed with information and tips to help you get started other than that stay creative and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.